Number 10, deathdate.info. You've probably seen sites or programs that claim to be able to calculate when or how you will die before, but none of them proved to be quite as eerie as death date. Upon first impressions, it's the same as every other site. Enter your name, birthday, and confess about substances you may or may not abuse, and receive a year of death. Probably totally inaccurate, but this is the number one website for learning when you will die for a reason. The site lists four bits of information, the day you will die, the amount of years, months, and days you have left, the percentage of your life that has already passed, and lastly, a second by second countdown to your death. This countdown is the eeriest part, as you can just sit there and watch it slowly ticking away. which has the uncanny ability to drown out all of the other audio in the room. Sit there long enough and you may notice that the number in the hundreds column is one digit lower than it was over a minute ago. You can watch the seconds tick away until you've decided that you've wasted enough of them staring at a webpage. Number 9. Cubo.cc slash creepy girl. What if one of your friends sent you a link to check out and it brought you to a page featuring little else but a high resolution smiling woman that followed your cursor's every move? Until, of course, it stops moving and she smiles directly at you. It gets creepy as you expect this woman to do something or say something, but she just smiles. At some point, she tilts her head and for a moment you snap to attention, thinking something's gonna happen. It's almost as if this woman is judging you for wasting her time. Then you think, who the hell made this website and why? Probably someone with a lot of time on their hands and nothing to do with it. Either way, scary? Uh, no, creepy? I think so. Number 8. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice As we all know, many states in the USA still practice the death penalty for certain crimes, Texas being the most famous for it. You have also probably heard of the rules that allow inmates to request any meal as their last. And of course, they also get to make a final statement. These statements, made by Texas inmates on death row, are the last official words of a person before execution. All of them are recorded on the Texas Department of Criminal Justice's website. Through their site, you can pick through the last words of long dead criminals at your leisure. Most are typical send-offs to those the criminals cared for, but many criminals opt for an eerie sign-off, such as, I'm done, or, let's go warden, I'm ready. It's an odd experience of a read, as while browsing through these final statements, you know you're looking at the last words of somebody that died not long after. You can find all kinds of statements here, from detached maniacs who boast about their crimes to apathetic killers who couldn't bring themselves to say anything at all. Perhaps the creepiest of the statements are the ones who plead for mercy and claim innocence. Number 7. HashimaIsland.co.uk Have you ever roamed around on Google Street View just to see what there is to see? I know I have. Well, for those of you who do, there is one corner of Street View conveniently located on its own site, hashimaisland.co.uk. That is exclusively for viewing the abandoned Japanese island of Hashima. Hashima was abandoned following the closure of its coal mines, so luckily the island was abandoned by lack of interest rather than some sort of disaster. The eerie music of the main page itself could be described as a little cheesy, if not creepy. But walking around the small island is much different than going down a typical street. It is almost like a horror game, where you expect random jump scares just because the screen is shaky and everything is in black and white. This is of course an abandoned island city that was only abandoned 40 or so years ago. Everything here has become rubble in that short amount of time, left for time to slowly destroy the island. Number 6. A Columbine Site The Columbine shooting of 1999 is sad to think about from any point of view, but there is a site out there that includes every piece of information on the killers, students, and staff, including information from before the shooting. You can trace the lives of the shooters from before the day of the massacre, and creepily enough, their lives are normal until they one day decide to shoot up a school. There are even images and recordings of a school project they performed, a skit called Hitmen for Hire, as if they were rehearsing for what they would later do. It's a strange feeling to watch videos of people you know will soon be dead. The site digs up the grim facts about what happened that day, so if you are using the site to find obscure information for a project, you may find more than you bargained for. Be warned. 
Number 5. Newsoffuture.com The future is a mystery to us, but that doesn't stop people from making predictions based on current trends. Some of them from an optimistic point of view, others not so much. This site, a series of newspapers set for 2020 through 2050, collects all of the most likely theories. According to the website, there are great things in store for humanity, like the very first tourist trip to Mars and the restoration of the ozone layer over Antarctica. But then it also claims that the Great Barrier Reef will lose 95% of its coral, the 13 2.2 million Americans will be diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and that climate change won't be stopping anytime soon, leading to drought and famine. Whether the good outweighs the bad is up to the reader, but this combination of both good and bad events makes this future newspaper seem more likely and creepy in the process. Number 4. The Jonestown Death Tape This is probably not the kind of site you want to visit on a Saturday afternoon. Unless you consider the death throes of hundreds of men, women, and even children as quality entertainment. The website, basically a public collection of recordings of important events, contains a recording of one of the most horrific events of the 20th century, the Jonestown Massacre. If they're alive, have made our life impossible during which around 900 people either committed suicide or were murdered via cyanide poisoning. Those that did not immediately die were lost in the resulting fire, and it is their voices we hear in this recording. Cyanide poisoning is not a painless death, and the agony heard in the audio is easily one of the creepiest things on this list, and nobody would blame you if you decide not to visit this particular webpage. Number 3. Creepypasta.com there's a good chance you've already heard of the famous creepypasta, the Russian sleep experiment, which supposedly took place during the Cold War, an eerie story coupled with shiversome photographs. Many people have been led to believe that this experiment actually happened, but of course it is simply one of the greatest creepypastas ever created. That is, just a story. There are many stories on this site, covering each and every kind of horror imaginable. The Russian sleep experiment is only one of them. Creepypasta is a forum-like wiki in which users can submit and post their own creepypasta. Think of them like campfire horror stories. This site is so effective that after hearing a scary and convincing story that sounds real, you might find yourself asking the person that told it if they got it off of Creepypasta. Number 2. Annabootcamp.com At first glance, Annabootcamp.com looks like a normal weight loss support website that's meant to give support to people dealing with eating disorders and stuff like that. But that impression leaves as soon as you examine the methods that this page actually suggests, and the images they use to support them. In fact, despite the site claims it's meant to help, it actually seems to promote eating disorders like bulimia or anorexia. There are techniques on how to properly vomit after a meal, and methods that include harsh drugs or even tapeworms. There are even sad and eerie images of what one should consider a normal person, becoming a sick and twisted thin version of themselves. The actual diet that the site promotes often encourages consuming less than 500 calories a day. That is just insane. When the normal human consumption of calories should be between 1500 and 2500, and most safe diets recommend no less than a thousand. Simply put, this website should not exist and only worsens a serious problem, quickly leaving most people feeling very uncomfortable. Number 1. The Hidden Wiki We're going to spare you the site's web address, as quite of the few listed onion addresses are illegal, and we'd prefer to avoid the lawsuit. From drug trafficking to rent a hacker, the Hidden Wiki compiles a shorthand list of pretty much everything that can get you arrested. There's even a news board giving information on popular sites such as the former Silk Road, another completely illegal drug trafficking website. It's creepy to think that so many illegal things are accessible just from one location. And even if you do need to install a different browser to access them, it's still a little off-putting to see them all in one place. Among the many sections of the wiki, they list retailers selling passports, fake IDs, stolen credit cards, and other human beings. 